Attila out of Atlanta, Georgia. Before the show tonight in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. You guys were in Tampa last night in Miami earlier. How's the Sunshine State been treating you guys so far? Sick. Dude, we were at the beach for a little while today, took some showers. It's really hot, really hot. Yeah. Yeah, First part of the tour was frigid cold, now it's really hot. Even though it's October, it's still hot. All my friends uh, up north are like, <laughs> Holy shit, you're still going to the beach. Taking yeah, the no, that's how it was. Like, we were like waiting for snow and ice like a week and a half ago. And no, now it's just like, dude, like, no selfish. shirts, yeah. shorts, sandals. Awesome. We have no AC, so it's been a little. Uh, <laughs> that's extra not good. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you guys are enjoying my hometown, getting to go to the beach. This tour started back in September, and it's, like you said, been all over the place. Big cities, small towns I've never even fucking heard of. Yeah. yeah. How, what's the experience been like? It's been sweet, man. Overall, the tour, the tour has done very well. The tour has definitely been our favorite tour we've been on so far. Oh, yeah, all, all the bands were on tour, they were great guys, they all... Yeah. This is... a lot of things in common. We get along with the people on this tour more than anyone else on any tour we've ever been on. And as far as turnouts and everything goes, it's been way better than any other tour. So, it's definitely been a step up for us. For sure. Awesome. What have you guys been doing to pass time on this tour? A lot of driving. <laughs> Smoke a lot. Lots of weed. <laughs> Smoke as much as humanly possible. Drink a lot and sleep. Just interact, chill with people, yeah. girls, yeah, try and people, try and converse. <laughs> just being social and just talking to anyone we can. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> um, any cities on this tour has any stamp stood out on as your favorite? What would you guys Raleigh, say? Raleigh, North Carolina. It's definitely yeah. pretty crazy this time. Uh, Raleigh was fun. Yeah, we just slowly like built our way down. up there. Virginia Beach is fun. We Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> Manchester, New Hampshire. Yeah. Right, let's put that on my travel schedule. Yeah, Manchester's like it's all the edge kids at that place. Hey, that was uh, Massachusetts. I'll show you that. Is that. What was Manchester? We like the beach cities. Got another beach guitarist cities. here now. We always okay. can uh, go right. to the beach. Right, there he is. What's up, man? How you doing? What's up? Out of the camera. Bye, mom. I love you. <laughs> Just checking in from the road. Yeah. Well, uh, looking over you guys' Twitter updates, you guys had a uh, run with John Law a few days ago, sleeping in the van. What happened? Uh, we got about seven tickets on this tour so yeah. far. Jeez. I don't know. That's yeah, sleeping in the van is stupid. Yeah. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard him get a ticket for. Yeah. Cause like I, t I was talking to the cop and I was like, oh, I guess he's he's like, oh, he's like, you should make better choices. And I was like, oh, like I thought I did. Like I was gonna drive drunk last night, but instead, like we slept in the van. I guess that was still the wrong choice. Yeah, every single band on this entire tour package was all there that night, and every single one of them. Yeah, we all got tickets. we all got fucked. Yeah. We've gotten trailer light tickets, seatbelt yeah, seat tickets, tickets, parking the violations. The cops are after us. tickets we've ever gotten. So we got like 14 now. This tour. All coppers are fucking bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the police. Fuck the police. <laughs> Fuck the police. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of the past tour, you guys made it up to Canada. What was it like playing in another country for the fans up there? Dude, Canada Amazing. was... Yeah. We're actually getting ready to go back. Especially people awesome. that can't speak English and like yeah. they know your songs but they can't like talk to you or speak to you. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's, it's very annoying. awkward because like the kids are excited but like you can't even talk to them you're just like... I mean most, yeah, in most places in Canada you can, just Montreal blew yeah. us away. Mm -hmm. We got there, there was like 250, 300 kids at our show. Every single one of them like knew the lyrics. Wow. Half of them didn't even speak English. Like, yeah, hearing like little French accents. You told me you can. <laughs> Great. Well, yeah, my my boy Johnny lives up there. He said to tell you guys what's up. So. Yeah. What's up, Johnny? Johnny. 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 Uh, dude, actually, uh, funny story is, uh, we traded the banana suit for a gator suit, and the gator suit got stolen. But now I've got a smiley suit. Oh, yeah, we got a smiley suit, but <laughs> awesome. I don't know. I don't know if I'm busting it out tonight. I gotta feel it, you know. Right. I gotta feel it for bust out the costume, but the banana suit was fun, though. Yeah, it looked like a lot of fun. I usually dress up as a gorilla for uh, Halloween, so I guess I should have done the interview on that one. Gorilla mask. That would have been yeah. Yeah. Gorilla mask, Attila Gorilla. <laughs> well, after this tour is over, what is the band's plans? Writing. Writing. New CD needs a new album ASAP. We need a new album ASAP, and we're writing and making it happen. Except lots of home. cool shit from Attila and the year 2000. 
2010. Great, something to look forward to. Well, the bio you guys have on your MySpace describes you as party death metal. That is fucking awesome. Please tell me and everyone else what is party death metal. Basically, what I would say, death metal, usually when you think about it, along with it, you think of your typical gory, whatever, death metal lyrics, whatever you want to call it. Maiming sluts. <laughs> Maiming sluts, yeah, of course. But I, like, as far as lyrics go, I wanted to put a little spin on it and just make it lyrics that I felt that me and my friends could relate to and we all love to party, smoke, drink, whatever we can, you know, to have a good time, pass the time. So I feel like, you know, playing music that relates to activities that we like to do is, you know, gives, you know, an opportunity for people to connect with our music more. You know, not everyone can relate to skull fucking a dead corpse. You know, that's true. I can, but not everyone can. So, when I read party death metal, I thought of some guy in corpse paint doing a hit out of a beer bong or something. It blew me away. Yes. So, what are the main influences on you guys? Smoking. Smoking like, like metal and rap. Metal and rap. Yeah. All right. We're yeah. We listen to a lot of rap, but not Lincoln Park. But not Lincoln Park. Yeah, not, 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 not metal not rap like Lincoln Park. There you go. Gangster rap and death Jeez, stuff. Cheese, yeah, yeah, some cheese stuff. That's what that I'm talking about. That bouncy flavor shit. That dirty south. Any music that has like swag and groove to it. Alright. Awesome. What's the writing process like for you guys? Right, what, what, what goes into it? A lot. Lots of smoking. Yeah, like <laughs> smoking. <laughs> smoking. Yeah, a lot of smoking. Yeah, I was gonna say a lot of smoking. <laughs> and then just My like basement. jamming. Yeah. We, For hours and hours. We all we all bring different stuff to the table, <laughs> collaborate. We're one thing about us is we're just very, very critical about what we write. Like we've written a lot of material already that we've just, you know, broken down and cut out parts, put in parts, like we're just really critical about the whole writing process, but we each bring stuff to the table and we all have ideas and we all come together as a whole and usually it ends up working out just fine. Awesome. Well, when you guys aren't writing music or on tour, what are you guys doing? What are you Smoking. Smoking. How do I go? <laughs> yeah. We're usually with each other too. We're not, yeah, we're we're not usually, on tour. We're we always out. Yeah, 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 we, 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 we all live in the same area, like same road, pretty much street same area. Same, so. yeah. We yeah. all hang out. Awesome. There's a couple local bands in our area that we always show with, just like big group of like friends who just come over to practice. Is this your full time job? Do you have other things you guys do? Full time. Full time yeah. band. That's great yep. to do. <laughs> well, Franz, a little while back you were on that TV show Made on MTV. What was that experience like for you? Ooh, it was, uh, <laughs> it was really fun. I mean, basically, I've told many people before and now it's a chance for everyone to hear. It was a big joke. Uh, if it wasn't, it's was just a big joke that got taken out of hand pretty much. I was a freshman in high school, so I was probably 14 years old at the time. I'm 19 now, so uh, I was 14, and they came to my school, and it was like a big dare joke between me and a bunch of my friends, and I was just like, fuck it, you know, like I want to be on TV, you know, help promote Attila, and. Sure enough, I did it, and it was a really fun experience, and it helped, and I plugged Attila as much as I could, so. Awesome, so it was good exposure for Attila. For sure, it definitely Great helped exposure. to the advantage. That's awesome. Well, since this is a party death metal band, just what do you guys do to party and have a good time? How does Attila throw down? Well, first we like to smoke a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this and is another, the key thing, the, the, the first moss. thing we miss, yeah. We like bring to drink the moss. lots of juice. Juice and four locos. Yes, yeah, not, not four too many locos. people know about that. Punch, but. punch, Everclear, yeah. whiskey, Jungle rum, juice, Sailor Jerry, oh. but all essentials. Anything pretty much you can do to party, we're pretty much down. Yeah, always. Awesome. <laughs> well, anything else you guys want to say to your fans out there? Uh, bring the moss, bring juice. We love you. Awesome. Thank smoke. you for keeping coming smoke. to shows. Smoke, 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 smoke. smoke. and. Keep in touch with us because we've got a new fucking CD that we're writing, and we should have something posted uh, within the next few months or so. So have some cool new tours coming up too. So stay tuned. Lots of good <laughs> stuff in the future for sure. <laughs> Creepy eyes. <laughs> stay tuned. Well, thanks a lot, guys, and make sure to come out to the party and see Attila on tour. And uh, you can watch this interview as well as tonight's show on TyroneHood.com. Thanks. Peace.